I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the five best Chase credit cards. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, you know the deal. Let's go. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And comment down below with your thoughts on my top five chase cards. Now, maybe you have a different top five. It's all good, let me know. Uh, also guys, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get into it. Actually, actually, let me just go ahead and preface all this before. I know I haven't posted in a while, guys. It's probably been about four weeks, but I've been going through some things. Uh, not really going through anything. So I moved. And as you guys know, moving sucks. And the process is just exhausting. And then literally like two days after I moved, I went on a trip to Mexico for a week. And then I got sick. When I got back about two days later, got sick and I was sick for about a week. And then I just got really busy with work. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I've been guys. Anyways, I appreciate you guys 100%. You guys, you guys are my ride or die straight up. So my number one card in this lineup is going to be obviously the Chase Sapphire Reserve. And this card comes with a $450 annual fee, but it does come with a $300 travel credit. And the travel credit is very broad. It's not like American Express where, you know, you kind of have to you, you have to figure out how you're going to use that for that given year. So um, that essentially drops your annual fee down to $150. Also, it comes with global entry. Global entry um, will help you get into the country a lot faster um, rather than having to sit through customs for so long. Uh, and that is a $100 credit for basically the first year of you having the card. You only need global entry maybe every four or five years, I believe. So uh, this this is why this card is on the top of my list. You get 3x on travel and 3x on dining, and that's pretty amazing. Now, the second card, this is going to be a little controversial, and that is the Chase Inc. Preferred. And the reason for that is because it gets you 3x on travel as well, and you get 3x on other business categories. But the sign-up bonus for this card is actually 80,000 points once you hit a $5,000 limit uh, spending, you know, requirement. But uh, you know, the sign-up bonus for the Chase Sapphire Reserve is 50,000 points, and those are pretty good. So if you think about it, if you have those two, that's 130,000 points already right off the bat, and you know, it's pretty awesome. The cool thing is about the Chase Inc. cards is that they do not add to your 524 count, and if you don't know what 524 is, I'll link a video in the cards right up here and click on it, watch it. It's, I'll make an updated one, but yeah, that's just kind of what I have to work with right now. <laughs> At number three, the third card is going to be the Chase Freedom card. And I like this card because it gives you those 5% rotating categories. And basically the best thing about this is that you can transfer all that cash back into ultimate rewards points as long as you have one of the three ultimate rewards earning cards, which are these Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, or the Chase Inc. Preferred. Those three cards will allow you to transfer the cash back to those accounts and you can redeem those points for travel rather than cash back and you'll get them at a higher value. At number four is going to be another 5% uh, cash back card and that is going to be the Chase Inc. Cash. The reason why I like this card is because it also comes with a high sign up bonus of $500 in cash back which transfers into 50,000 ultimate rewards points after you hit a 3,000 limit I believe. Yes, it is 3,000 actually. The reason why I like this card is because you get a consistent 5% cash back on certain business categories, uh, including office supply stores. You also get 2X on dining, 2X on gas. I think it's probably the best cash back card out there in my opinion. 
Um, and finally, for my fifth one, guys, is going to be the Chase Ink Unlimited. And the reason why I choose this one at number five is because the Chase Ink Unlimited is just like the Chase Freedom Unlimited, except the Chase Freedom Unlimited does not have a sign-up bonus. You get 3% for one year, 3% back for one year. After that, it goes back down to 1.5% cash back. And the 3%, the extra 2% or was it the extra 1.5% that you're getting is essentially your sign up bonus. And that's just ridiculous. You would have to spend well over $20,000 just to get a significant return on that spending for that card. Um, and not everybody's going to put their, you know, everyday spend or even their entire year spend on one card just to get 3% when they can maximize with other cards. Um, so in my opinion, I wouldn't waste an inquiry on the Chase Freedom Unlimited just because it's not worth it. I would go for the Chase Inc. Unlimited because you get another $500 cashback bonus for spending $3,000 in the first three months. That translates into 50,000 Ultimate Rewards points. So it's kind of a no-brainer to go with the Chase Inc. cards over some of the Chase uh, you know, personal cards. And like I said before earlier in the video, it is you know the chase ink cards don't count towards your 524 and they also don't report to your personal credit score so that is amazing i mean most people think every single credit card is going to report to your personal credit score it doesn't so again to recap we have the chase sapphire reserve at number one we have the chase ink preferred at number two 50,000 points 80,000 points we have the chase freedom with 150 dollars cash back um reward you know, bonus, which is 15,000 points. Not bad, but you get that card for the 5% rotating categories every year. Then you have the Chase Inc. Cash with 50,000 points. Then you have the Chase Inc. Unlimited with another 50,000 points. There are a lot of benefits to Chase Ultimate Rewards points, guys, especially if you're going through Hyatt, Southwest, or United. Uh, United's about to change the dynamic pricing here in a bit, probably in November, I believe. Um, but, you know, I just flew Southwest on points, you know, um, and you know it was it was a pretty solid trip i can't complain about it you know the flight was very smooth and uh yeah it was it was easy easy going so i really think if you're just starting out you should go with chase um just because they're the most strict but yeah guys that's my top five for chase cards um and so you know let me know if you agree with it if you disagree with it either way i mean it doesn't really matter this is my opinion you know everyone's everyone has their own opinion or everyone has you know their own strategy i would just go based off of how the bonuses are and just you know how i could utilize my everyday spend um because i'm all about trying to maximize my everyday spend no matter what uh i'm maximizing points it's maximizing your points and minimizing your cost uh if i can earn more points in another way with you know spending you know as little money as possible then i'm gonna go for it that way and that'll conclude today's video guys for more video updates hit that subscribe button if you found this information to be helpful give this video a thumbs up i really appreciate it share it with your friends drop a comment down below to let me know what you think about my top five chase cards don't forget to hit the bell notification down below in the corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever i drop my next video be a good person be safe be smart and remember credit is your life and i will see you guys in the next one peace